We're dealing with a nurse. Is this too? An RN and pole. Ego death required. Let's find out what's up with the pole. Tell, tell me about this pole with this nurse. Taurus. Why are they stressed out? They could be stressed out over a Taurus. They have a, this is a family, or, or this could just be that someone else has happiness. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no. Who's the nurse? Tell me about the nurse. Someone's best friend? Adultery? H A O. All right. It could be for a woman, what the other, the spouse on the other side must be Christian or they come from that type of doctrine where they, I don't know if somebody did cheat or they think they're thinking of cheating, but I'm guessing that this nurse, H-A-D-G, Hag, could be setting up for one, either the, you know what it is, she's setting up for somebody to get attacked with a pole. If somebody's like, yeah, you know, I didn't want to talk about it, and and I know that I was a bitch or I was I was an asshole before, but now I'm ready to talk and do things the way you want to do things. Be wary of that shit. I would just say, you know what? Let's just leave it the way we had it. Stay tuned. And there's O'Reilly involved with something. That last message. Maserati? Maserati. And shh. You may be going on a road trip or someone's driving them. Leo? That could be a password for someone as well, Maserati. Oh, did somebody key it up or, or flatten a tire? They're going to try and get a child to do it is what it feels like. A kid from the neighborhood. Yeah, you're going to be disappointed to find out who did it. For somebody, it's your own goddamn kid that did it. This child could uh, be on drugs. Can, give me some letters for this, please. You're going to be broken hearted when you find out some shit. B O. I don't think O M. Uh, there also could be a B O O, a, you know, on, on that too. They're going to do something, some kind of damage to your vehicle. P E. This could be Bonnie Peterson, Peters, Robert Peters. <sighs> and demolish. Opa. Opera. Nope. Oh, Opari. That's for somebody. What else is going on with this? Tell me more about this, the Maserati. There could be multiple people that were in on it. It could be a Robert, a Pete, an Andrew, or an Anthony, or a Nancy. Francesca, Fred, Frank, Frida, Michael, Michelle. Did they steal it, or they were planning on stealing it, Worm? 
And that's someone's nickname. Cutting out. Uh, they don't want you to find out that they had something to do with it. Is there somebody that needs an address or something? Stay tuned. The first thing I thought was mulberry. Yeah, they took it, didn't they? I feel very, very uh, calm today. Bear with me. Play in the villain. Everybody likes to be evil, and X is on here. E X. You sir are a terrorist. Tell me about this X and the villain. One. You have one X. Scorpio. This is lost everything. You're dead to me. You're dead to me. They feel like this isn't an ex from recently. I don't think this is an ex that still hasn't gotten over this shit. This is 12 years ago. Yeah, you ended something abruptly, and it feels like whatever you had with this person, there was. Oh God, did somebody cut you? There was a lot of verbal abuse with this ex, but it escalated quickly with knives or something. They cut you. They're showing me a, a guy that cut his girl's face because she's beautiful and he wanted to make sure. Now, you may not even know if you got jumped or something that he was behind something that happened with slicing up your face. Yeah, you were targeted by this one. Now, you could have been a target for something and not even realized it. B-U-N. And M-I. Biv? Wanted to fly out? B-I-V did. You can put that how it fits. Bitch. Wow. I'm guessing he used that word a lot. You know what it is, though? Someone's that beautiful of a soul. Now, whether you're a man or a woman, this happened to someone. And, and the way you carry yourself, the way you just accept it, makes you more attractive with the scars. I see color. You could have been a black woman with a white guy and he did this shit to you when you left. Gray. Someone's starting to lose color. Color, gray, and X. It feels like somebody doesn't like... Did they want you to lighten your skin or something? This is someone who makes that ignorant comment and says when black people are embarrassed, they turn gray. That's them. Yeah, he definitely didn't like, but, you know, he's the kind of guy that... He won't say that he has a problem with you leaving, but everybody could feel it. It's if someone ever brought up your name, they can feel that. Oh God, it, it's it's deeper than hatred, and it's only because usually this kind of guy is the one that he ends it. If if he's very insecure about something, and he's the type of guy where if he feels for one second like. He's losing a grip on you. He will immediately sabotage. He'll start saying nasty things to you just to hurt your feelings to make himself 
feel better. You moved away or you need to. You could be sitting next to or in the same vicinity or you're still dating somehow. Oh, God. He wanted to see what your face looked like. Oh, wow. Well, now you know, I guess that is your biggest enemy right now. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm listening to a conversation of either he walks in and acts like he didn't know you were there or somehow he wanted to make connection with you again, but it's to see the damage that the people that he set up did this to your face. I'm going to flip out some letters for who was involved because it feels like somebody was jumped somewhere. And this could have been in the winter time, and they wanted to make sure that you couldn't run. It could have been snowing outside. Give me some some letters, please, for some names. C K A A Kayla. I just heard. Tastes like candy. I can feel it when you walk. Candy. J S O L. Stay tuned. Hope that helped for somebody. Okay, we'll go with like. Pretty vague. A phobia. Tell me about this like. What's up with like? The dark. A Capricorn. Oh, this would be making money off of nefarious shit you like chaos okay I got it sexy it's sexy to somebody that you like chaos that you're you like your dark side that you like toxic relationships or things that others would see as no good for you newspaper No mophobia, your fearlessness, the fact that you, yeah, you love chaos. I don't rest when, when there's peace in my life. It helps you manifest because I'm guessing that you're somebody um, that experiences this a lot. Maybe you have people constantly throwing, arguing your way. You could have grown up with a lot of narcissists or sociopaths in your life. And if you're the type of person that just embraces that or even becomes, if you see them as enemies, you become your enemy to defeat your enemy. The fact that you can do this shit and you can shape shift and you go back and forth with your personalities, you balance out your personalities well, this is helping you manifest. Now, I think that some other people were thinking this was going to keep you stuck. And yeah, they're angry. Look, I can't believe this shit's not working. Every time we try to sabotage this woman, this loving woman, but you're very, very learned. You've been through a lot, and that's what it is. There you are. That's why. And you're attracting wealth doing this shit, too. So you must have had seven. You must have had a chaotic life. Seven sins. You, okay. So you embody every one of them. You, you embrace them and accept them. See, the system teaches us that it's bad. They're bad. They're not necessarily bad. It's how you look at it. You're driven. That's what drives you. Hatred drives you. Chaos, somebody telling you that you can't every time you try to stop me. This is lion as well. You could be a Leo. You don't have to be. You just accept, I guess, whatever life throws at you. Engineer, you are okay with consequence. That's why you understand that there will be consequence and you deal with that shit accordingly. I know that I'm going to get something and have some karma for this. You accept karma because you know how to clear it. You're a transmuter of energy. You're definitely a god or someone held in high regard. Somebody's trying to copy this, so. <clears throat> Tell me about this other person that's trying to copy this. They're not doing very well. <laughs> okay, there could be someone that's 
they're having conversation with someone and they're actually saying these things. See, the other one over here, they do it. They could be, they could have, they could be mute, and it just shows that they thrive in chaos and they, they're more comfortable with that. And then there's someone who talks about it. Daughter, don't call me daughter. You could be the daughter, and your father is is doing this. And for somebody, your father thrives in chaos, and that's why you do as well. Your child or your children also thrive in chaos? Okay. If there are two of you that are like this, there's someone from your past that's trying to mimic this. I'm guessing that they want to try and get you back in their life or Aquarius let's just get to work yeah there's an Aquarius female here she could be speaking with a child of yours and she's telling Taurus possibly or she's speaking to you or some family members and lying to your child about some things too I hope this isn't a mother. I don't know why the first thing I thought was father. Yes. Barn. I don't know if this is growing up in a barn or acting. You could have had a chaotic home, and that's another reason why you thrive in chaos like this. You work on yourself when you feel you need to work on yourself. You, you're. It feels... I, there are no rules in my life and if there are I place them there or we place them there What you do for work you put out some kind of messages of some sort they're plotting on your your husband or he, He's a little bit sociopathic as well <laughs> He could be a leader of some sort He could be in a judicial system too Or your dad is a Freemason. Someone's trying to keep some type of blessing from you. There's a King of Swords, though, somewhere that, that's experiencing some kind of judgment for either putting you in prison, someone in jail, or just trying to keep great things from you that this if this is a dad he likes to have complete control complete control of his daughter i think that let's just say like with this you came from some type of family that had something you're you're content since you've walked away and i'm guessing that this has to do with some type of money or homes or or trust or, or real estate a state i heard an estate I feel like they're surprised. Now, they could have intentionally given you a life of chaos and you didn't even realize that it was coming from them since you walked away and you actually just embraced that shit like a boss. What's going to happen now? Tell me what the outcome of this is going to be. They, they tried to say that you act like you were raised in a barn. But now they're responsible for the shit that they threw in your life that you may have reacted to it in some sort of way. Your marriage, security. Yes. A complete transformation. I'm guessing that you're going to have some type of security while these people on the other side, if this is a father or a stepfather or this is that family, they're going to experience nothing but loss and death. It's going to flip. They're going to lose everything. They could be. Yeah, they're going through it already. They're going to wind up struggling, and I'm guessing you're going to have everything. And yep, they're going to be. By, he's going to be by himself. Yeah, loss and disappointment. All right, well that's it. I guess the way you handled something, you passed the test, whether you realized you were being tested or not. We're not going nowhere. Love you.